In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can automate your appointment scheduling for free so that you can save time and stay organized. What's up guys, this is Max Square, and if you're new to the channel, I make videos all about tech tools for entrepreneurs. So if that's something you're into, go ahead and hit like and subscribe for more content. So if you don't know what automated scheduling is, it's essentially an online app that allows people to book a call or a meeting with you, and then it will sync with your calendar. So if you keep your calendar up to date, you can actually block off certain times or days where you're unavailable, and then when people go to book a time with you, you can't get double booked. Now there's a lot of different tools out there that will do this for you, and almost all of them have a free plan that you can use unlimitedly unlimitedly that you can use forever but the one i'm going to be talking about in this video is called calendly so this isn't sponsored by calendly at all it's just a tool that i'm very familiar with and i enjoy using but just so you know if we take a look at the pricing you can stay on the free plan for as long as you want and then they have a couple of other options and this video isn't meant to be comparing all the different pricing and services you can do your own research but i'll put a link down in the description if you want more info so what it will look like for clients or whoever you're sending this to to book appointments is you'll get a custom uh, URL. So it'll be calendly.com and you can customize that handle. So mine's just slash and then my name. And I only have one meeting type set right now, but I can go in and select 30 minute meeting. You can see I have my company logo there. I have my profile picture. And then I have a Zoom link, which is my private Zoom link. And then on the right, you'll see we have a calendar and this will show all of my available slots. So you'll notice that weekends are grayed out because I've blocked those days off. So I'm only taking calls from Monday to Friday and I believe I'm only available from nine until 5.30 it seems. And so you can customize all of that. But if you click on a day where I've got another slot, like today I have a meeting at five, you'll see you can't actually book up an appointment there. So if we just pick a random time, we hit confirm, all the client will do is put in their name and their email and you can customize this form as well. And then they just hit schedule event. Now this is a little meta because I put my own name and I'm scheduling a meeting with myself. But if you can look past that, this is what the client will see when they sign up. It'll just say, hey Luke, or whatever their name is, you've scheduled a meeting and it's been confirmed. And then you'll see a location. So if you're doing in-person meetings, you can change that to your business address but what I have it set to is just my Zoom link so that people can jump on the call since I just do a lot of virtual meetings. And then the client can add that to their calendar. And then you'll get an email on your side confirming the meeting and you can see all the client's information, whatever you've asked them to put in in the form. So I just had the email and name, you'll see it there. And then you can see what time they booked it for. Now I have this automatically set up to sync with my calendar and you can do that with any calendar, iCloud, Google, pretty much any account on there. So when the client hits confirm, it's automatically added to your calendar. And if you are someone who's super busy, people are booking appointments like every five minutes, then it actually will update almost immediately so that if someone else is booking an appointment after them, that slot that the person before them just booked is already grayed out and they can't book it. So on the free plan, you're only allowed one meeting type. I just have this set to a 30 minute meeting because I'm not that busy with calls and appointments. So just one is fine for me for now. So you can set what meeting it is. And then in the location, you'll see I put my Zoom link there. And this is kind of a workaround because you can't customize the confirmation email that's sent to clients when you're just on the free plan. But I'll get into that in a second. So you can customize the actual event link. So whatever your handle is slash 30 minutes, or you could put slash book, whatever you want. And then you can set the event duration and your availability. And then in the advanced tab, you can set things like availability increments. So you probably wanna set that to whatever your uh, meeting duration is. So if you're meeting for 15 minutes or 30 minutes, you wanna match that so you can't get booked halfway through a meeting that's already in progress. You can put a max events for the day. You can put event buffers. So you never wanna have meetings back to back. You always want an hour in between. And you can customize all that here, even if you're on the free plan. Next, you can customize the questions. So you can ask them to put in their name, email, and that's completely customizable. 
The next few settings are features for premium plans. So this is where you would customize the invitation or the confirmation email. You can turn on text reminders, anything to do with cancellations. If you wanna collect payments, you can do that as well, but you will have to upgrade. This is a great way to get people to pay up front because you can sync it with Stripe or PayPal and you can even put in a discount there so that they save when they pay up front so that by the time you get to the meeting or the call, you've already been paid and they don't have to worry about cash or their credit card or anything like that. So the app is pretty simple. You've got event types where you can see the 30 minute meeting and customize that like I just went through. And then you've got scheduled events. So you can see anything coming up, filter them. Obviously I'm not that, that busy, it's fine. But there's also a lot you can do behind the scenes with integrations. This is something that's available on the premium plans, I believe, but you can connect it to stuff like MailChimp, Zoom, Stripe, or even Zapier. And setting stuff up with Zapier is actually pretty cool because you can create triggers so that when a client books a meeting, it automatically creates a Zoom link, for example, that's custom for them. It's not just your generic Zoom number. And there's so much other stuff you can do, but that's just an example. So that's basically the app and there's a hundred settings and even a bunch of different services I could get into. But the point I want to get across is that it's really important for you to set up automated scheduling. Whether you're a student or a business owner, it'll force you to keep your calendar up to date. And from the client's point of view, it's really professional because they can choose a time that works for them. And there's not a lot of back and forth with texting and emails, trying to confirm a day or time. It's one link. They can see your entire schedule immediately and then they can book when they want to. Anyway guys, I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. I also wanna share that I've set up memberships on my channel. So if you wanna get access to exclusive content, live streams, or even book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, where we look at your project, your YouTube channel, or just your workflow, you can check that out in the memberships by clicking join next to that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.